Hi, I'm DK with Adventures in Dirt. I had a chance to go out digging with a good friend of ours, Beth, from our treasure hunting club, the Eureka Treasure Hunting Club. And she lives out in this area, this very historic area of Colorado, for about 35 years. And she's been able to get us some permissions to go out and hunt an area where we think we have located a cavalry camp from pre-Civil War. Check out this video as I show you what we came up with on this epic day of hunting at this cavalry camp. Watch this. Hey, so we're out here today with Beth from Unknown Detecting. We're out here from Tony with 5280 Adventures. And uh, we're on some good property out here in the wilds of Colorado, having a good time uh, coming up with some cool finds. You know, I really like hunting this kind of land because almost everything you detect is old, usually, and uh, especially if it's deep. And they're, uh, you know, they're few and far between so that when you do hit a signal, you're going to dig it. I uh, got the machine set wide open. Uh, I'm using the T2 Classic today. Beth, what are you using? AT Max. AT Max. Tony? AT Gold. AT Gold. What kind of coils you got? Tony, you got the little coil. Little one. I got the stock. Yeah, I got the stock one here for the T2 also. Uh, my first find for the day is a little rosehead square nail. I'll call it a rosehead square nail because that head is all malformed. And thank you, Loy, for the history cliff on digging with seven. You guys could check that out and learn all about square nails. I'll put a link down below. But yeah, cool little square nail. We're going to keep going. Um, we have found some other cool items here. I think Beth yeah. just came up with a really cool uh, three ringer, eh? Yeah. Look at this, yeah. Small caliber. Small caliber three ringer, but yeah, we'll take it. Check that out. Pretty cool. Tony, you've come up with some good stuff already too. And uh, yeah. so we'll catch back with you as we, as we uh, start uncovering stuff. We'll get back to you. First up was Beth as she finds a bullet. And of course we all have to come run in to check it out. All right. So Beth re yells out bullet. We got to come check it out. What do you got? Ooh. Not sure what kind it is. I, I'm not really good with my bullets, but it could be, I don't know, but there's the butt. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, so that's. It could, I'm not sure. Let me see the side of it. No three rings. One little ring right. <coughs> yeah. Very nice find though. Came up in the high 80s? Yeah. Yeah. Great job. It looks about blows your maybe five inches down or so. Yeah, it was right down in there. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Good job. You. Well, the signals are few and far between, but uh, we're staying after it. Uh, great weather today here in Colorado. Uh, sorry for the wind. Oh, my wind muff is taking care of some of that stuff, but yeah, it's pretty windy up here. We're on top of a mountain. Uh, and the wind's just kind of whipping through, the, which has given us a lot of relief today. Signals are few and far between, but that's cool because then you want to dig everything you get. Um, so, wish us luck. We'll continue on. Hey, you have to understand, Beth has now found about 11 of these bullets, and neither Tony or I had found a bullet out there. These come from a Star Carbine 54 caliber Civil War and pre-Civil War breech-loading rifle issued to the cavalry unit to the United States Army. So, boy, we sure wanted to find a bullet, but we just weren't finding him. So Beth being the generous person she is, she comes over and says, DK, come bring your detector. I want to show you something. She wants to give me the opportunity to dig my first Civil War bullet here in Colorado. How generous is that? So she shows me where the signal is. I go over it a few times to my detector and come up with my first bullet. Watch this. Huh? At least the ground is soft. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. There, there it, it is. is. No kidding. <laughs> Look at that. It's like that one, uh, it's like that one you found. I think it's got the hole in it, yeah. Yeah. Congrats. Some sweet first dug bullet. Compliments of Beth. Hey. <laughs> she didn't dig it. I didn't dig it. No, I did. I dug it. I dug it. But thank Congrats, you. Awesome. Man. You're welcome. You gotta have a bullet. Yeah, there you we go. Get Tony. I think there's another one there. Yeah, well, so here's what we came up with. You really gotta find out what these are. Did you figure it out with the hole in the end of them? Yeah. No, I haven't yet. Huh. Pretty, some of them are plain, some of them are big. Three rings.
at this point we all decided to kind of huddle around the area that she was in and concentrate on the area where she started to find some items and this is where things really started to take off next up i find my very own civil war bullet watch this yep all right so i see it yeah definitely same like uh the one beth just put me on for sure, same thing, he's got the- Same one. Got the hole in it, single ring. So I don't know if this is like Indian War period or or what, I don't know if this is a pistol shot, like big caliber pistol shot pistol. Or, or what, but oh. yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, not bad. Congrats. Yeah. Okay, so right here, I found two bullets. We got another signal here. A thing's starting to really pop now. People are starting to find things. We're definitely in a hot area, and I live dig a bullet. Watch this. Yeah, so it's right in there. Let me put this thing aside for a minute. Oh. In my hand. Here's another one. Woohoo! Now we're on it. Now we're on, now we're on it. I got a huge mid tone here too. Great shape. Starting to like this. <laughs> That's in the range we want to be at. So at this point, Tony starts chasing mid tone ranges and he comes up with a cool buckle. Watch this. Oh, no. It's a buckle. Yeah, little uh, like tack buckle or uh, for a saddlebag or something. Sweet. I'll take that too. Hey, then the button's starting to pop. Beth pulls her first eagle button. Watch this. Could be a sleeve. Yeah. I think it is, though. Right next to the tree. Right next to the tree. Oh, there awesome. you go. Hey, I'm chasing mid-tones, too. Then it's my turn. And as I pull this eagle button, you can hear Beth in the background talking about her bucket list. She's fine. She's pulling bucket lists. We're pulling buttons. Tony can't believe it. Pretty amazing. Check this out. Oh, What'd you get? Uh-oh. I got a button. Listen yeah. to you guys. I think it's uh, same kind. Same I was kind. so excited to pull that button. I didn't even put it on camera. Yeah. So I'm going to show you some images of it. But man, it was a great oh, time. We just started pulling things left and right. And it really started to heat up. You got an eagle. Anything on there? Nope. Nope, just the shield. <gasps> Very cool. Shield <laughs> eagle. With shank. Taking our way through the woods here. <coughs> My arms are done for. Tony says he's got a button. Next thing you oh. know, Tony pulls a button. Let's go look in and watch him pull this out of the dirt. Right Amazing find from Tony. Oh, nice. Check out this button. Oh. oh. There's the back. That still has. Full shank. Uh, it goes. I can't even hardly hold it. I'm shaking so much. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, there it is. I see the shield. Holy cow. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. So as you can see, Tony was pretty speechless. Oh you know, my finding gosh. your first Civil War button here in Colorado, an amazing feeling, and you could just see it on his face. I Great can't find from Tony, 5280 adventure. going on in my, my brain right now. Oh. How's that feel? It feel feels, awesome, huh? it feels insane. I just can't wait to get it cleaned up and pictures and displayed and oh my That's gosh. Awesome. Thank you. I am so glad you guys are finding stuff because 
you can go and find it for yourself, but if you don't have other people yeah, around here to enjoy it with you, like, I'm telling you, it's... And you're like, yay. You know, I couldn't agree more. Just the joy of camaraderie of us getting together was just an absolutely awesome day. Glad we were there. <laughs> well, what do you guys think? Wow, what an awesome day, man. Epic day. Speechless. Yeah. It's always fun when you can find things. It's fun when you get together and just go out together, but... Boy, that sure adds to it when you're actually able to find something. My hat's off to Beth. Three bucket listers today. Absolutely. Well, everything was a first for me. I'm telling you, first bullet, and you know, period bullet for your first uh, period buttons, just all kinds of stuff. Yep. What was your bucket list? Thimble. Yeah, just found a thimble is <laughs> just thimble. absolutely amazing. Uh, that thimble was cool. Yours? Bullet and and bull, uh, button. I'm yeah. I'm speechless still. I, I, <laughs> the buckle is really cool too. I got a, yeah, yeah. I got yeah. well I got two buckles. Yeah. So got one with the teeth on it. That's, yeah, that's like a knee buckle or something. Yeah. We're getting chased off here by the rain, it's but uh, so we got to get out of here. Some of us don't have waterproof detectors. <laughs> but uh, carrot for life. That's right. Carrot. We'll catch you with the next thing. I like this this trio hunting team right here. I think we could do this again definitely. Yeah. Anything more to say? No, there's yeah. nothing more to say. Beth, they, they nothing agree. else to say. Okay. Just thanks for coming out, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to show you some pictures of the day. We'll catch you on the next one.